Hello, fire signs. Welcome to Map to Love. This is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to listen to Earth, Air, and Water as they may give you more information on your journey. Where what I was guided to do is do a reading for the different the four different groupings of people for the general collective. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Clearing the path for 2020, a brand new decade. So whenever you listen to this, even if you listen to this in 2020, what do you need to let go of so you can continue to clear your path? Because life is a journey. <laughs> Things are always changing. There's always going to be a new direction that you have an option to go or a new situation, a new home, a new city, a new job, a new relationship. There's always going to be choices. That's what this life is all about, is making choices that are best for us, moving in the direction that's best for us. So what what's going on right now energetically for you? We're going to start with the Moonology cards. What's going on highest and best spirit for this, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What is going on right now? What's the energy right now that we're working with? I mean, we're moving into a brand new decade, you guys. I want you to think about what the last 10 years have been like and how you want the next 10 years to go. Okay, what's the energy? Highest and best for the fire signs. Wow, that's a little much. But I will say that it says the energy is gaining momentum and expect powerful change. So expect powerful change in your life, the different aspects of your life that you've been wanting things to change. Well, there we go. Those just flipped right out, didn't they? Let's see what they are. Your your dreams. Wow, this is both Taurus energy. So Earth working with your fire elements. Perhaps you have Taurus in your chart or your partner or someone you're thinking of is a Taurus or that very Earth grounded, stable, steady, can be stubborn energy. <laughs> Your dreams need a practical plan, though. Whatever these uh, business ideas that you have, creative projects, uh, love, relationships, that house, that car, what that vacation, whatever your dreams are, they need a practical plan. Prosperity does lie ahead. You just need to plan for it. So we just had this full moon in Taurus, right? So perhaps from the full moon to the next new moon, you're going to see this beautiful transformation. Something about Taurus, something about newness, something about newness in the material world, because Taurus is of earth energy. So bringing something spiritual, something fire from you, your spiritual gifts, what you've learned spiritually, and bringing it into a, the physical and putting a practical plan together to move it forward. Beautiful. So that's a main energy is it right now for you fire signs is that your dreams just need a little practical plan like a step by step because prosperity is coming to you the universe is wanting to bless you with new opportunities relationships uh, abundance whatever that is that you've been working on good health you know earth is all about health getting out in nature allowing nature to restore you revitalize you drinking plenty of water eating for high vibrational fruits and vegetables and foods things like that to help you feel strong and steady and focused with the lesson cards here I want to get a little information for fire signs on what needs to be released still or what, what lessons still need to be learned or what are we taking forward on this journey out of 2019 into 2020. Okay, let's see. We've got fears. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So letting go of fears, finally facing them and letting them go. Self-esteem. Building up your self-esteem, working on yourself, feeling confident, stepping into your power, opening up your solar plexus chakra. I, that's your third chakra. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yes, realizing that you are worthy, realizing that what you have to say and the wisdom that you've learned and gained on, the, on this journey is important. So building yourself up by facing your fears and realizing they're a false reality. Yeah, no longer doubting yourself. No longer listening to all this outside bothersome energy of telling you what you should do and shouldn't do. It's trusting yourself now and releasing the need to know the answers. Like, I don't need to know everything that's going to happen. Nor would I want to know what, what's all going to happen. That's part of life, like being surprised. That's fun. Being surprised is fun, right? And, and letting go of, of envy. 
like of others. I'm the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Yeah, realizing, not doubting yourself anymore, not looking to others to want to be like them. It's taking charge of your life and being yourself. Stepping into your power, again, stepping into your power, knowing that there's abundance for everybody, that your own abundance and prosperity and love are yours. You don't have to compete with anybody else. I mean, yes, be the best version of yourself if you're going for a promotion or getting something going, but you don't have to compete in the way where, oh, I have to be better than you or you can't be better than me, that kind of feeling. That's just low vibration. You're the same, just with different challenges. So you're able to perceive others in your life as on this journey with you, maybe at a different point in the journey, but that they've had challenges as well. And so you're, you're just seeing life in a different way and you're not fearing anything, I feel, and you know that you're not alone now. Maybe you felt lonely before and you, you weren't connecting to like-minded people, but as soon as you clear these things up and face your fears, you realize there's been people around you all along that have been supporting you, that spirit's been supporting you, that you're fully supported at all times. So this is letting go of that loneliness. So what you're purging out, what is necessary to let go of, to move into 2020 for this new life of divinely divine sacred partnerships and business and friendships and love and everything coming together that's 2020 it's coming together coming into union within yourself and coming into union with others that are like-minded right that will support you and empower you and lead you to your prosperity but you've got to let go of the fears you got to let go of the doubt the envy the jealousy the uh the negative self-talk the, the unworthiness, the feeling like you don't deserve it, doubting yourself, doubting your, your abilities because you are very powerful and you have a lot of unique gifts and talents to share with the world. So it's time to speak your truth and express yourself and let go of all this and step into your power. Get that strategy and plan. Write it down. What do you want to bring in? And, and use that fire and passion that you have within you to move forward. Okay, what's some spiritual guidance right now at this time? Are spiritual gifts being realized they are going to help you move forward? Let go. Do the final purge. That song, the final countdown. You know, I'm not a singer. But like whatever that song is, I don't know. But it's like the final countdown and you feel it. You're like, oh, you're ready. <laughs> like you want to count down to the new year right now. But... Now that we have a little time or whatever this next phase is, depending on when you're listening to this, it's time to let go of all this and step into your power so you can realize your dreams. That's part of the process of stepping into our power. Okay, again, little chunkiness. Look at that. Wow. Stepping into your power and the power card is sticking out right there. Going back to a more simple way of life, angelic guidance. If you see feathers, follow that guidance. But being um, simplifying your life, letting go of toxic energies, toxic relationships, things like that. Simplifying, going back to the basics. My goodness. Going back to the basics and then going on adventures. There is a lot going on with you. Fire signs. Okay. Spirit, highest and best. We know that it's time for adventures, but can you please just give me a few cards here? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, for fire signs, what is your spiritual advice? What's coming in? What is the energy? Okay, spirit wants you to know that you're safe, that you're secure, that you're being provided for. That inner light, that inner fire within you needs to burn brighter. Keep stoking the fires. That, that's the term, right? Keep stoking the fire. Pay attention to your dreams. Something's happening at night. Things are being activated within you. Ancient knowledge, your ancestors working with you to bring you security into the material world. So no longer fearing this, right? We're going to cover this up. Fear up with security. Security coming in. Forgiveness. Yeah, that's this letting go, not being envious, right? Forgiving yourself, coming into balance. You, you know, you made the best choices you could at the time, and so did everybody else. So it's letting go, letting go of the past, letting go of the hurt, letting go of the pain, reaching up to the stars, to the universe, to God, to your angels, to your loved ones for this healing, for this assistance to move forward, for this release. Yeah, look at this. Healing again. Healing. There's a lot of healing happening for you right now so that you can move forward into these new beginnings. So there may be a tower moments, these epiphanies, the storm blowing through. You know, 
moving out, clearing your path for you. This is the universe working for you in front of you. So if these storms are coming through, this is all part of your transformation. It's all part of moving forward. It's all part of moving on with your life. This is the universe clearing the path for you, getting rid of what's not serving you, helping you clear it out, making it easier so you can transform. And look at all these beautiful spirit guides with you, these butterflies, your loved ones. It's so pretty. But you're healing now. You're healing all this doubt, all this shame, all this, all these fears, and feeling secure within yourself. That's what's coming for you in 2020 is feeling secure within your own self, with the shadows and light within you, with the masculine and feminine within you, and feeling secure and stable in this material world, letting go, forgiving, living in a state of appreciation, healed, transformed, ready to move forward, and being patient during this time okay during be patient while while spirit is working out the details while you're healing while you're letting go it's it's all in divine timing and because of your patience because you've been so patient because you're finally going into freedom speaking your truth moving on this is what's coming for you is abundance Abundance in your self-confidence, abundance in, in your health, abundance in your vitality, abundance in your thinking, abundance in your emotions, feeling good, feeling nurtured, feeling loved, having love surrounding you, being healed, feeling lighter, and abundance in safety and security in the material world. That's beautiful. Prosperity lies ahead. You just need a practical plan. And the practical plan, what the plan is, is how do I release all of this? How do I let go? What do I need to finally look at so that I can understand it and take the lessons and move forward? That's the process. That's the practical plan. And then allowing yourself to heal, look to a healer, do meditations, whatever it is, allow yourself to heal, to come to this balanced place, strong, confident, standing in your power, knowing that it's all working out for you and you're flying right into your abundance. We have to let go. We have to forgive. Let the past go. <coughs> Things didn't work out for a reason if they didn't work out. Look at that. The moon. Reflection. Finally seeing the truth. <clears throat> For some of you, or most of you, or all of you, who's ever listening, take what resonates. You've been kind of stuck in an illusion. Stuck in the same pattern, the same cycle. Not seeing the truth about how powerful you are and how worthy you are. And you're letting looking at things and letting the past go, right? Letting the old self die so that you can emerge this new version of you is how I see this card. That's how this card speaks to me. Letting the divine feminine moon, that divine feminine energy heal and restore you and bring you back to balance. The divine feminine within you is rising up. Rising up, realizing that all the things you've been working on, yeah, you put a lot of work into something. You put a lot of work into yourself. You put a lot of work into your business, your partnership, your romantic relationship. And now you're evaluating, is this where I want to stay? Is this where I want to stay? Am I happy here? Am I thriving here? Am I growing here? Is this where my abundance is? Or do I want to take what I've learned here, all the stuff I've been stacking and move forward? And that really is up to you. Everyone's in a different situation. But you're in contemplation, like thinking about it. Sitting in the eye of the storm Thinking, okay, when this is over, which direction do I want to go? What makes me feel the happiest? I'm over this crap. I mean, come on. Some of you are stuck in this. There's some, some energy around you that is making you feel fearful and making you feel less confident in yourself. <coughs> making you feel like you can't speak your truth. My goodness. The general collective, the readings I've been doing today, there's a lot of um, needing to speak your truth. Communication. That's what I feel like is happening is you need to communicate your truths, get it out, and let it go so that you can move on. Speaking your truth is part of the um, process. But when you let go of this kind of energy and you finally speak your truth, this is very fiery, right? Very much your energy can be competition, fighting competition, 
But this is, you know, you're the winner. Like, you're the warrior. You've got spirit. It's got your back. Whatever this battle is, who's ever trying to knock you down, it's not going to work. Because you're standing in your power now. You're not going to allow this anymore. You're taking your power back. And this is you. To me, this feels like you taking your power back. Speaking your truth. Being done with this drama. And then moving right into stability. Perhaps you've been in a relationship that's, that's full of drama and fighting and it's aggravating and you're leveling up and they're not leveling up and you're working on yourself and they're not and they're staying in the lower vibrations and it's time to move on and what you're moving on to is this union. Or this is stopping the bickering and the fighting and really getting raw and real with your feelings and then working it out and walking forward together, strong, stable. But this is what's coming for you in 2020 is this stability, that 1111, that portal. We just, it's opened up something new for you. So you can walk out of the stressful energies and out of the fears and out of the doubts and the insecurities and into this stable life with stable partnerships. That's part of your prosperity. Yeah. Abundance, the emperor, the empress, this is you or your partner, or this is just. That, like I said, the divine feminine within you rising up to empress status. Rising up to empress status. Taking control of your life. Taking your power back. Standing in your power. Opening your heart again. Heart portal opening. Healing your heart. Healing the chaos within your heart and your mind. And coming into balance because you are creating life. This is a very abundant time for you. 2020 is going to be extremely abundant for you. Birthing babies, birthing creative projects, feeling good, feeling abundant. True divine partnership. And look at this, okay? As soon as you come out of this, there's five. There's a lot of changes happening, okay? You know this. Maybe you've been living here in this poverty mindset, this lack. Maybe you didn't have a home to live in. You're moving into a home. But once you allow yourself, this is what's happening. You're letting go of this mindset. The poor me, the things not working out, focusing on the regret, the resentments, the past. And you're, there's, there's a portal right here that you're walking into right now, going into 2020, where all your abundance is, where all of your prosperity is, with good health, working with others, third eye opening, healing, being restored. This is the new life. This is the new world that you're moving into once you face your fears and you let all the bull crap go. I mean, that's that's what's going to happen. And look what you're moving into is union. 2020 is all about union. Relationships, communication. This is why communication is important and deciding what you really want and moving forward. You're moving into twin flame, soulmate, divine partnership, union, soulmate, union. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. And at the bottom of this deck, I have to show you, is the death. Let the old die so you can rebirth into this new life. Let go of the lower vibrations because what is being presented to you and promised to you for doing that is a new life of abundance, of feeling good, of feeling connected with others, strong, stable, secure, beautiful energy. We're just going to get some clarification for you now, some further clarification on... Uh, you know, what fears are we facing? What is this What is this five of, of uh, wands and five of pentacles energy all about? Let's see, let's see a little bit more about that. What does this have to do with this fighting, these changes? Uh, what did I say, you guys? Okay, this is, I love spirit, thank you. What did I say about the throat? And it's like a general collective thing about speaking your truth. Your throat chakra, this is the change. This is the change that is necessary to happen is for you to speak your truth. Or someone is going to speak their truth to you and you're going to get the clarity you need to make the decision to move forward. Okay, That speaking your truth is imperative to all of this. To good relationships, to coming together with true divine partnerships, to moving towards your prosperity, allowing your abundance to come to you, feeling good again, is facing your fears and speaking your truth. I mean, it just it's in the whole message and all over the cards. That's what's going to set things in motion fast. Okay. When you start speaking your truth from a heart-centered place, when you bring yourself out of the lower vibrations into the higher vibrations, into this Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Empress energy, it's going to happen fast. Your wishes, your dreams, this is messages coming in fast. This is the universe working with you. Wish upon a star because it's happening. Then a symbol for infinity sign, right? Twin flame soulmate, 
infinite possibilities, but there's accelerated motion forward. Once you speak your truth and make this decision and walk through this new portal, this new life, this is what happens. Things start moving fast. And this, is, to me, this is a soulmate card. This is Six of Cups. Like, this is soulmate. Someone coming in from a past life or the past to bless you. The seeds of intention that you planted in the past and you, you're working on yourself and you're leveling up and you're getting out of this mindset up here, then you're, you're bringing in a blessing of love from the past. That's what I feel like. This is a blessing. This is the universe blessing you with this union, this divine sacred union. And it's passionate and it's uh, it, very clear i can't even express the words like there's so much clarity coming to you now that it can be overwhelming so just take a few breaths because there's a lot of information coming towards you i feel in this time any other information here yeah embrace yourself because you're getting the clarity you need your third eye is opening and then speaking your truth will, will feel more natural to you when you connect with the truth of who you are and you and you step into your power speaking your truth will be uh and this clarity that you're getting will help you speak your truth. So this is what's surrounding it, is opening your throat chakra, speaking your truth, being able to hear other people's truth, other people's points of view, seeing things from spirit's perspective and moving things forward, moving things forward in love and stability and security. Okay? All right. Any more information? Um, I just want a little bit more. Who is this bothersome energy with? What is that about, that fighting? Oh. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The fighting, the bothersome energy, that five of this, 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 this energy, this fighting, five of wands energy, spiritual growth, fighting your spiritual growth, not, you know, being afraid of it possibly, but I don't feel that so much for most of you, but maybe somebody needs to know it's okay to step in your power, accept your gifts, the spirituality, because the temptation of staying in codependent relationships, this is what's the bothering you. This is the fighting. This is the, the toxic relationships, the People that aren't serving you, uh, gossip, uh, drugs, alcohol, overindulgence in sex, uh, focusing on the material world, and and you're letting your ego rule you instead of this the higher part of you, the spiritual part of you. But what I'm feeling is ending. Let you're letting go of these. It's you've been torn, right? Here's the decision, the waiting game, needing to make a decision. You're like, which way do I go? Do I follow the light or, ooh, I'm getting sucked back over here where I know that's not a good place for me. I know that's where all my fears are. I know that's where my, all my insecurities and my doubts are. But my God, it's so tempting or this person or these people or these drugs or these whatever is so tempting. But mm, I'm going to I'm gonna touch the light because if I touch the light and I reach out to the light, I know I'm going to go towards the light because nothing can nothing's more powerful than the light. So this is you choosing to look towards the light. And that's when you choose to look towards the light, that's when you come out of this mindset. That's when you come out of this lower vibration energy and you come into this union within yourself and then share it with another. But you've got to let go of the toxicity. Allow yourself to heal. This, this to me, feels like once you touch the light and go towards the light, this is, this is healing. It is heartache and loss, but it's it's coming to peace with the heartache and loss. That's what that's what's going to happen for you. Is you're going to come to peace with the heartache and loss and really be able to move forward in these new beginnings. But be honest with yourself. It's okay to say that that it hurt, that it that it sucks that it didn't work out, and and it sucks that this person treated you this way and made you a part of a three party situation. If that's your case, take it as it resonates. But it's time to heal from that and allow yourself to spread your big, beautiful wings into this new life. Go towards the light. Be patient, right? You got the patience card. Be patient. The universe is helping you work it out. But make the decision. Make the choice that's best for you and speak your truth. Yeah, the universe. It's time to end certain cycles. The universe, the world, God wants to bring together this union for you these new beginnings for you, but you have to end certain things in your life and let go before that can happen. So going into 2020, the world is yours. The world is yours. That's what you have the opportunity. The world is any direction. Travel the world. Uh, you know, go be with the love of your life, whatever it is. It's, it's the world is yours. But it takes you to 
uh, do the work and, and allow yourself to heal and let go and be brave and step into your power and know that spirit's got your back and speak your truth. Go after your dreams. Go after the love of your life. Go after that stability, that creative project, whatever it is, it's time. Set the wheels in motion. Okay, highest and best for fire signs here. What is an ending message, an ending oracle message that would be good? Okay. You are stronger than you know. There's that inner strength, that power. Rely on that. You are stronger than you know. You've got this. Focus on hobbies, like things that make you happy, those things that make your heart sing, creative projects, taking time for yourself, allowing yourself to be nurtured, have compassion for yourself. And perhaps some of these hobbies, these things you like to do, will actually bring you material abundance. If that's the direction you want to go, I'm feeling it very strongly that it will be very successful. Parental care. Some of you are taking care of your parents, and that's the, that's the, the challenge. If you've been taking care of your parents, or you're going to need to. You're going to need to take care of somebody. If it's not a parent, it's a grandparent or someone you care about. So these are the changes that are happening, and you're trying to make the best choice, or perhaps that parental care has been hard on you, and, and you're trying to see which direction you, to go with that. But just choose whatever feels best for you. Speak your truth about it if it's difficult for you. Speak your truth if, if you need extra help with this. Um, and this is a, also a sign if you're a parent, take care of yourself, okay? Allow yourself to have time for yourself to find that balance again so that you're making good, you know, balanced decisions. Also, haha, look at, look at this. This is a cool message coming through for you fire signs. If you're single right now, or you're leaving a relationship, there's a, you know, whatever. You're single, you're leaving a relationship behind, you know this is you, this is this is you, single. You're flying into this new life, that death and rebirth, right? Same butterfly, right? This is you taking care of yourself, if you're a parent, if you're whatever. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Focus on what you like. Focus on the, what makes you happy, filling your cup. And guess what? You're coming into union with your mirror, the perfect reflection, your yin and yang coming together in divine partnership. That is what is being said. Divine partnership coming into balance into 2020. Yeah, and there's a healthcare change of some kind. So it's either with you or your parents or something, but there's some kind of healthcare change. And that maybe might mean if this re this message resonates for you that you're looking for alternative ways that, that your parents can be cared for. Or you, you taking better care of your physical body, which allows you to have more energy to help out. Whatever the case may be, this is you taking care of you, nurturing yourself, bringing yourself back to balance. This is a very creative energy focus on those creative projects. And this is that fire within you, and you are stronger than you realize. So just keep going. Keep focused. You've got this. This is what's coming in. Let me remind you. Is it worth it to do the work and allow yourself to heal and let go and face your fears and speak your truth when abundance and the love of a lifetime, divine, sacred, sexual union coming into the physical world is there for you? Yeah, I'd have to say, yes, it is. And I'm here for you and I appreciate all your support on my channel and I wish you the very best on this journey.